Ancient Egypt was without a doubt one of the most mysterious civilizations out there, and what we know about these people seems like it's only the tip of the iceberg. They were advanced enough to build some of the most incredible structures in the world, and were advanced in many different ways, sometimes to the point where we wonder the possibility of them making contact with intelligent life forms from other planets. Even in modern times, when we think we know just about everything, the ancient Egyptians continued to baffle us. From mysterious hieroglyphics that would indicate advanced technology, to even the origins of where they came from, here are things we still can't figure Figure out about the Egyptians in 2018. Let us know in the comments section if you forgot to mention some of ancient Egypt's biggest mysteries, and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Hey guys, this is your host, American Eye, but today I'm right here on Taltanic, bringing you this video. The Unfinished Obelisk we mentioned a few times before how the pyramids in ancient Egypt were quite mysterious, but what about the unfinished structure in Egypt that was discovered in 2005? This was ordered to be built by Queen Hatshepsut during the 15th century BC. Although this seems to be a little bit new compared to some other ones on this list, this was still before metal tools even existed. How were they able to carve such massive pieces of stone like this anyways? Many believe that harder stone or wooden tools were used in order to chip away at the limestone. Located at the Aswan ancient quarry, this is also the same place where they got the stone to build the Great Pyramids. If it were actually lifted from the ground, it would be the tallest obelisk ever and would weigh approximately 1,200 tons or about the weight of 200 African elephants. If it were ever finished, it would have also measured 137 feet. Genetics of Egyptians it's still up for debate, but many people feel as though the ancient Egyptians are not genetically related to much of the people currently living in Egypt in modern times. It's been somewhat of a mystery despite the portrayals of Egyptians in artwork. A Swiss genetics company claims that they ran some tests and found out that roughly 70% of British men are somehow related to the Egyptian pharaoh. King Tut belonged to a profile group known as R1B1A2, which more than 50% of all men in Western Europe belong to. Around 60% of French men and 70% of Spanish men share the same genetic pool, which is quite surprising. It's believed there's some kind of common ancestor who lived in the Caucasus Mountains. Others claim this is racist, and the company who did the study doesn't have enough info to conclude this. But what do you think, though? There's nothing strange with having kids, but some pharaohs had so many, it's relevant in modern times. Ramses the Great is said to have at least 100 children, and there's actually a good chance that you might even have some of his genetics. The Pyramids Vessel Archaeologists discovered a rare funerary boat near the Abu Sir Pyramid, located just south of Cairo. Since the Nile gave ancient Egypt many of their resources, boats played a vital role for transportation and fishing to the unbelievable civilization. With the Egyptians taking their burial ceremonies quite seriously, there's no doubt that they wanted to bring one of them with them to the afterlife. The discovery of the 4,500-year-old ship most likely belonged to an upper-class citizen since wood wasn't always easy to come by in ancient Egyptian times. The archaeologists were clearing an ancient mastaba, or tombs, and found parts of a 60-foot ship in the bed of the stone. This could be key in further understanding the Egyptian shipbuilding techniques as well as funerary traditions. The Pharaoh's Curse Tomb robbers were a huge problem in ancient Egypt, and to prevent theft, they'd often write in hieroglyphics a curse somewhere near the sarcophagus. One curse that was quoted by Zahi Hawa stated, Curse be those who disturb the rest of a pharaoh. They that shall break the seal of a tomb shall meet death by disease that no doctor can diagnose. Few people took the curse seriously until a few members of those associated with the discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb fell deathly ill. This included Lord Carnarvon, who met his demise from an infected mosquito bite. Is this all a coincidence? Massive Granite Tomb This tomb was recently discovered below the pyramids, and we can only hope that they don't fall victim to the curse. The stones weigh roughly 100 tons each and are made of granite. Some claim that since the rocks are so big that it was built for a tomb of an actual god named Ptah. The amount of work that went into the carving of this granite sarcophagus would be quite extraordinary even considering using today's tools. One journalist, Paul Baldwin, described them as being precision engineered to tolerances which would be deemed remarkable today. Akhenaten Akhenaten was the Egyptian pharaoh who was extremely strange and ruled Egypt between 1353 BC to 1334 BC. He was so strange to the point that people are actually beginning to really believe he was an alien. He's one of Egypt's most bizarre pharaohs of all time, and he's often portrayed as looking like some kind of weird alien creature from another planet. Akhenaten had changed the capital city of Egypt from Thebes to Armana. He was dedicated to a monotheistic religion, and the one god of Un was portrayed as a sun disk. Artwork of him was very odd, as you can see in this photo, with big eyes, an elongated head, and mysteriously long fingers. He seems to abandon the traditional portrayals of pharaohs. Pictures of his children even show some kind of genetic mutation and is depicted in almost all of his artwork, even his son, King Tut's head. 
There is no documentation of headbinding in Egyptian culture either. Have aliens visited this ancient civilization and possibly performed mutations? Others believe it's a result of inbreeding, similar to the kind of deformities the royal Habsburg family saw in Austria. Nefertiti's tomb. One discovery that archaeologists really need to make is of the tomb of Queen Nefertiti. She was one of the most beautiful Egyptian queens of all time and displayed in amazing detail in statues. She was also the queen of Akhenaten and the mother of King Tut. Anyway, finding out more about Nefertiti would possibly help us understand why her husband made such drastic changes. It would also help us find out if Queen Nefertiti was powerful enough to take the role as a pharaoh for four years, since King Tut was quite young at the time of the death of Akhenaten. Oh yeah, and there would be likely lots of gold too. They've already found King Tut's tomb, so it's a good start. It's been quite the mystery, and some think her tomb could be right next to his in some secret chamber. The Dendera Light Although no direct physical evidence exists, many are beginning to believe that the ancient Egyptians had access to electrical light. Maybe Thomas Edison didn't invent the light bulb after all? We already know that ancient civilizations had access to electricity by looking at how the Baghdad battery operated. Would it be so far-fetched to believe that they had access to light bulbs as well? This sculpture here, found at the Hathor Temple at the Dendera Temple Complex, could bring some light on some theories on how ancient tombs were painted. How were ancient Egyptians able to produce such masterpieces of art within tombs deep within structures or underground? Torches would have been difficult due to low levels of oxygen too. Mirrors also seemed unlikely from the design of the tunnels. With all the strange discoveries from the past, could this theory be true? Libyan Desert Glass the ancient Egyptians adored this naturally formed glass and felt like it had magical powers. Here in this photo, we see one of Tutankhamun's remarkably preserved brooch with a Libyan glass scarab beetle at the centerpiece. It was also seen as a valuable material to make tools from and has similar properties to obsidian, which is a volcanic glass used for weapons by the Aztecs. Some theorize that around 28 million years ago, a huge comet struck desert sands in Libya and heated up the ground particles to 2,000 degrees Celsius. This impact was hot enough to turn the sand into a yellow glass. Remnants of the comet and Libyan desert glass are only found in the Sahara Desert from this rare event and are only found within a 6,000 square kilometer area like you see in this map. Many are still baffled by these rock formations and their origin hasn't been concluded just yet. Lost Egyptian Underwater City The lost Egyptian city of Heraklion mysteriously vanished below the Mediterranean Sea and was considered to be a major port city in order to access the Nile. This unbelievable discovery includes more than 64 boats buried beneath thick clay, gold coins, giant 16-foot statues, slabs of Greek and Egyptian text, and more. What could have possibly caused the submergence of an entire city, you might ask? Researchers suspect a rise in sea level contributed to this. Also, liquefaction of the soil played a role. This means the ground basically turned to mud. But no one knows exactly for sure how it ended up underwater. Something like an earthquake can usually be a reason. These remarkable discoveries will be preserved and researched in order to learn more about this unique and amazing culture. The Lost Land of Punt Ancient hieroglyphics tend to tell a story about an advanced civilization and refer to the land as Punt. They said it was an African kingdom that had an abundance of ivory, exotic animals, gold, and other valuable resources. The only problem is that no one knows exactly where this mysterious kingdom is and who the inhabitants were. Many would also claim that there's no doubt if it actually existed, but it's more of a matter of where they lived. Some hypothesize that the land of Punt is somewhere in the northeastern African area, or could range in the southeastern edge of the Arabian Peninsula. It's believed that they were hut dwellers that were supported by stilts in case of flooding, like we see in this photo. Here in this depiction from Queen Hatshepsut's temple, we see what the Egyptians are portraying the Queen of Punt to look like. In any case, it's believed that a lot of trade with Egypt came from this land, and they were good allies, even bringing Queen Hatshepsut a tree for a funerary temple. We can still see the remains of that here. Could this have been some type of advanced civilization like Atlantis? More clues will be needed in order to pinpoint the location of their settlements.